Welcome to Daily Armor. Our verse today will be found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 10, and we'll be looking at verse number 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. And it says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it but will with the temptation. I left out a word there. We don't want to leave out any words. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Um, I think that we all, uh, I think that every single person has some form of temptation, some form of fleshly desire that is hard to control, that um, and there's just, there's so many out there. Um, sugar is something that I fall prey to. Um, I like sweets. I like pastries, pies, ice cream. I, I just like sweets. And those are things that I try to limit what I have available at the house. Like there's, I do have some sweets here, but I usually try to choose things that it's things I don't really like. So, um, it helps. Um, but if when I am, you know, if you ever, if you ever go to the store hungry, isn't it so hard and difficult to, um, not give in to temptation and purchase those things that you really do like that you are, you know, well, I'll just have one. Well, then that turns into two and that turns into three and, and sugar is just one of those. Some people like my husband, he has a thing for, for salt. He loves salty things. Um, so for him, that is a temptation for him. He has high blood pressure, so that's not good for him to have a lot of salt in his diet. And so those are things that he is tempted by. Everybody has something, um, no matter what um, area it might be, whether, you know, I mean, there's just so many things, so many things. And I don't want to talk about, I don't want to focus on what we're tempted with. We, we know that when you, when I say your temptation, you automatically know what that is for you. I know what that is for me. Um, I know, uh, even, even besides just, just that sugar, uh, for me, there's other things out there that are a temptation that, um, I, you know, I can sometimes fall prey to, um, uh, thinking bad of myself and letting that stop me and letting that weigh me down and, and not moving forward and not putting myself out there the way the Lord wants me to because I will hold myself back. Um, so there's so many things that we deal with that each person has their own battles that they deal with. Um, and this is a verse that's supposed to help us and encourage us. And it was something I was feeling like I needed something today. And I've looked through so many verses and I feel like this one would be a good to remind us that the Lord is there to help us with those things and help us to give us proper perspective, maybe look at a situation um, properly. And he's always, and I love this where it says that he gives us a way to escape. If you look um, back up there in the, the uh, toward the end of the verse, and it says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape. Um, whenever you know that you're going to be in a situation that is, you're going to be tempted to want to give in to whatever it is. Um, and, and there's, like I said, there's so many things. Um, but you, it's a good plan to have a plan. Um, that, okay, when it comes time for the cake and ice cream at this birthday party, then I need to have a plan. I need to, you know, step aside, go play with the grandchild. I mean, there's so many, you know, scenarios that we could try to try to come up with. But then if you try to think of every scenario, you're going to just be shocked at um, how it comes to you from another way. I mean, somebody will hunt me down. Oh, you know, didn't you want a piece of the cake? Mm. of course I do, you know, of course I do, you know, quit trying to chase me down, you know, and I'm trying to, you know, even when we're trying to be good and we're trying to push away the temptation, we're trying to walk away from the temptation, somebody in just trying to be nice and, and friendly and cordial and they mean no harm, they're, you know, they are tempting you, they are, they are pushing, uh, pushing you, not knowing that that's what they're doing. 
And so many times that no matter what the temptation is, it's going to catch us off um, left or right. We're going to be caught off guard. We're going to be put in that circumstance that we were hoping we wouldn't be put in. And this is the, the verse to, to let us know that the Lord is always going to have us a way of escape. Um, we, we can plan a way of escape, but then something's going to catch us. Something's going to sideswipe us. Something's going to, you know, that, you know, that we weren't expecting. And the Lord is going to make sure that he says he will make a way. It says, um, but will, we, God will, when God's going to do something, it is as good as done. We can count on it. We can, um, we can find security and we can know that when we're backed up into this corner, when we feel like, um, and I've heard so many times, well, I had no choice. Well, when we come to those crossroads and I, and I come to those crossroads and I choose to grab that, that I don't need to grab because I'm trying to, you know, lose weight and, and get rid of some inflammation in my body and, you know, it's not healthy or it's not good for me or it's, you know, it's taken me away from what I'm supposed to be doing, whatever the case may be. And we are feeling that temptation. God is saying, I will give you a way of escape. I will give you another option. I will give you a way out, a way out of this predicament. Um, and so many times that it, it's so much easier just to give in and, okay, okay, I'm just going to give in and I'll just, you know, deal with it later. I'll just, you know, uh, but the Lord is going to give us a way. If we look back up there at verse number 13, and this is where I talk about every single person has some kind of temptation. It's very common. It is, uh, there's something out there, no matter if you are, you might have, this right and this right and this right and this right and this right. But then there's that one thing. Me is probably about five things. Maybe it's ten things. But sometimes at least even for the best person out there, which I'm so not, but even for the best, most disciplined, most disciplined person out there, there is still that one thing that can mess them up. There's that one thing that they're like, oh, it's so hard to say no to this. It's so hard to give in, you know, to, to not want to give in to this. But because this is what the Lord says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. It is common. We all go through this. You're not in this alone. The people that you are friends with, the people that you think that they've got it all together, you, the people that you think, man, they have, they know what to do and what not to do. And they know how to um, keep their, you know, keep um, their wits about them when they get into these situations. They have something that messes them up. They have something that's a temptation. It's very common. But God is faithful. And that's what I want us to hold to. God is faithful. And he's going to do some things for us. He's going to help us in those situations. He is always with us. He is never not present. He is always present in every single circumstance. When you are trying to flee the temptation, the temptation just seems to follow you, you know, and find you. God is still there. God is going to make a way. He said he will. He will. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able to? So we're going to be tempted to the point where we're, we just think, oh, there's no, there's nothing I can do. There's no way that I can not give into this. But God says, but we'll, with the temptation, also make a way to escape. But he's going to, even when you, when you're right there to that edge and it's just, you just want to say, hey, it's just easier to give in. God's saying, no, no. No, don't give in. I'm going to give you a way to escape. I'm going to be there with you. I'm going to help you through it. It's good for us to have a plan. I plan to do this. I make a plan to do that. Um, when I'm trying to fast, I try to plan um, a meal for my family. Um, either they have to fend for themselves, which just happens from time to time, because sometimes it's just hard for me to be in the kitchen cooking if I'm supposed to be fasting. Um, or I will make them something that for me is, I, it's not really something that I like or that I enjoy, um, or something that can, it can just wait to tomorrow. If I make a roast or something, it's even better the next day. Um, so it's not as tempting 
for me. But then, then there's still that something um, that there's going to be that there's going to be always be that something, and it it, it it can be in so many different ways and so many different predicament. So when you think, when you get to that point, look for that way of escape that God, know that God is faithful. He is with us and he can help us no matter what the temptation is. Drugs, alcohol, um, sex, um, food, salty food, sugary food, um, you know, junk food, whatever that the temptation is. There's so many out there. Anger, um, despair, um, depression, when we want to, when we're just putting ourselves down and we're just thinking that everybody's thinking bad of us, um, we have nothing good to say about ourselves. God is faithful. He's faithful to show you that you are his child and that you are valued and that you are secure in him and that you are precious in his sight, that he has made you and he has molded you and he is shaping you and he is still working on us. He is so patient and he's so kind. Um, so we need to go back to the Lord. He is faithful and he will always give us a way of escape. So look for that way of escape. He's always faithful to have it there available. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again soon.